Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us understand our question. The program has to accept the character matrix that is R cross C matrix which contains ash and asterisk and then ash represents the wood and the asterisk represents the poles and then we have to accept the integer n which represents the number of sticks available to fill that poles and then we have to accept n integers each integer represent the depth that is the height of the n sticks and then a depth of a pole is calculated by counting the number of consecutive asterisk from the top row to the bottom row and then if there are sticks of height equal to the depth then the holes must be filled with the sticks and finally the program must print the modified matrix as the after the insertion the sticks also the program must print the heights of remaining sticks available after insertion and if there are no sticks available then we are going to print minus 1 as the output so we'll have a quick recap so first we have to accept the R cross C character matrix which contains ash and asterisk. Ash represents wood and asterisk represents poles. Then we have to accept the integer n which represents the number of sticks available to fill those poles. And we have to accept n integer and each integer represents the height of n sticks. The depth of the pole is calculated by counting number of consecutive asterisk. And if there are sticks of height equal to the depth then the holes must be filled with the sticks. And finally the program is print the modified matrix after inserting the sticks. Also the program is print the heights of remaining sticks available and if there are no sticks then you have to print minus 1. And we have also given a note that sticks must be inserted from left to right and now we'll take our first test case. So here we have a 7 cross 5 character matrix and we have 6 sticks. So first we'll copy that and now we are going to find the hole in each column. So when we consider the first column, we don't have any asterisks. We have no consecutive asterisks. So in our first column, there is no hole. Then we'll move to the second column. So here we have 
फोर कंजिक्यूटिव एस्ट्रिक विच मीन्स सो फर्स्ट विल कॉपी दिस स्टिक्स दैट इज अवेलेबल स्टिक्स आर दीज एंड एस यू कैन सी ये वी हैव फोर एस्ट्रिक्स सो यू कैन टेक अ स्टिक विथ हाइट फोर सो विल रिमूव फोर so these asterisks will be changed to ash and then in the next column we don't have any asterisks and then we have two asterisks so let us take a stick with height 2 and replace this asterisk with ash so two will be removed and then asterisk will be replaced with ash and then we have six asterisk so as they are consecutive so we'll replace it with ash and it will have a stick of height 6 so now we have done and we have to print this matrix as our output also the available sticks so our output will be the matrix and the available sticks so now we'll take our another test case so in this test case we have a 6 cross 4 character matrix and we have only one stick so the available sticks is 3 so let us take the first column so here we have a three consecutive asterisks so we can replace it with a stick of height 3 so 3 will be removed and ash uh, asterisk will be replaced with ash and in the next column we don't have any asterisk and then we have 1 2 3 4 5 asterisk but we don't have any sticks available so this will not be changed and in the next row next column also we don't have any asterisk so since there are no available sticks we can print minus 1 as our output so for this test case minus 1 will be our output now we'll understand the logic of this program so first we are going to accept the number of rows and columns as the input and then we'll accept the matrix of input so after getting the matrix we'll get the integer n which represents the number of sticks and then we'll get the sticks as a list and then after getting the sticks then we're going to iterate over each column up to c and for each column we'll have a variable called as depth equal to 0 and we are going to check that is we'll iterate over from 0 to r in the rows r minus 1 so 0 to r minus 1 in the rows also here it is from column 0 to column c minus 1 and here in each row we are iterating and finding whether if the matrix of row column is equal to equal to asterisk then the depth will be incremented and then the depth is in sticks and if there is the depth in this in the sticks we will remove that depth from sticks and modify the whole with ash and the row that is we iterating from row 0 to r minus 1 and the matrix of row column will be equal to ash 
and finally we have to print the matrix also in order to print the available sticks if there are any sticks available then we are going to by check by checking the length of sticks we have to print the heights of those sticks and in the else part if there are no sticks available we are going to print minus one so we'll have a quick recap so first we are going to accept all our inputs and then we are iterating from 0 to c minus 1 and the depth is equal to 0 and then we are iterating from for rows from 0 to r minus 1 and then if the matrix of row column is asterisk then depth will be incremented and if that same depth is in sticks means that is when we have two consecutive asterisk and we have a stick with height 2 they are similar right so we have to in that case we have to remove that depth from sticks and modify the whole with as that is asterisk to ash and then again iterate from 0 to r minus 1 and replace the matrix of row column to ash and then we have to print the matrix and if there are any sticks available by checking the length of sticks we have to print those height and else we have to print minus one as our output.